okay let us see how do we configure a school server so that it can accept uh, any dotnet dll and uh, uh, access the functions written in that uh, .NET DLL. So, uh, to allow the permission of uh, .NET database engine uh, hosting the uh, functions uh, exposed by the DLL, we need to turn on the SQL CR in the SQL CLR integration. So to turn that on, we should use a tool called surface area configuration. So now I am going to open that uh, surface area configuration tool. To do that, first click on the start menu, which I did already. Then click on uh, all programs. So go to your uh, SQL Server installation location. I am showing this in uh, Windows 7. Uh, so here is the uh, SQL 2005 installation. Um, from here, I'm clicking the configuration tools, and then uh, I'm accessing the surface area configuration. Okay. I'm clicking cancel uh, because uh, this requires uh, this requires launching the application as administrator mode. So I'm going to SQL Server uh, Surface Area Configuration, then right clicking here. After that, I'm choosing uh, Run as Administrator. So so a dialog is displayed. Uh, from here, I'm choosing a Run Program. So in the displayed dialog, uh, I mean the SQL Server 2005 Surface Area Configuration dialog, we have to pick uh, Surface Area Configuration for features. So I'm clicking on it. So this opens uh, one more dialog. From here, if you see, there is a MS SQL Server and Database Engine. I am picking the option uh, SQL, I mean CLR integration. Once you pick that CLR integration, uh, you will see enable CLR configuration checkbox. Uh, place a check mark here and this will enable uh, CLR integration with the database engine. So now we are ready to write a function in uh, .NET framework. And uh, once we enable this, uh, we can host the DLL in a SQL Server Engine. Once the DLL is hosted in a SQL Server Engine, uh, the SQL Server has the capability of accessing the functions exposed through the DLL. That's all in this video. I'm closing it now.